world of virtualization so now let's have a look what is virtualization it is a term that refers to the various techniques of creating a virtual version of something such as virtual hardware platform or virtual operating system now hardware virtualization refers to the creation of a virtual machine that looks like a real computer with an operating system now software executed on this virtual machine is separated from the underlying hardware resources for example a computer that is running microsoft windows operating system may host a virtual machine that may look like a computer that is having ubuntu linux operating system now ubuntu based software can be run on the virtual machine now let's have a logical definition of virtual machine it is something using multiple operating system in a single machine simultaneously as you look on the screen there is a diagram there is a layer of hardware then there is a host operating system that could be any operating system and then there is a software that can be used to implement the concept of virtualization is building a layer called as virtual layer and on the topmost layer you can see there are number of guest operating system that is something we call as virtualization now why do we need virtualization very first advantage is single user let us say you have an xp operating system and you want to run any another operating system that could be linux sun solaris fedora ubuntu or mac the next is if you do not trust security of one operating system or of some applications then you can easily use it in virtual environment then another is you can save cost of hardware by using multiple operating system in a single machine now let's have a look on advantages of virtualization very first advantage is run multiple operating systems on one physical machine another is divide system resources between virtual machines next one entire set of the virtual machine can be saved to files and the last one and the main advantage is move and copy virtual machines as easily as moving and copying files now let's have a look on the software required to install the concept of virtualization and there are some softwares like virtualbox vm player virtual pc and vm bear workstation that is commercial so let's have a look how to use concept of virtualization how to create your own virtual machine and how to work on virtual machines and the software that i would be demonstrating you here is virtualbox so let us start with virtualbox let us open a virtual box first this is a software virtual box a product from oracle let's come to the menu bar there are some options like very first option is here file having some virtual media manager import appliance export appliance preferences exit then machine new to create new virtual machine to add existing machine and there are lots of settings even you can clone your virtual machine remove virtual machine group virtual machine and to start any virtual machine the next is help having some help related to virtual machine softwares so let's come to machine and there is a very first option new click on new the moment you will click on new you'll get a new option create virtual machine you need to specify a new virtual machine name like let us specify a new virtual machine name after that type which type of operating system you are going to install microsoft windows linux sun solaris bsd mac operating system or any other operating system let's have an example for microsoft windows selecting for the version which version you want to select let us let it be windows xp asking for the memory size the best part in the virtualization is even you can customize your hardware by yourself it is asking to customize the hardware specifically memory it's only in my hand i can increase it i can decrease it according to need so here i'll be using ram as a you know 512 mb ram because right now i'm using windows xp virtual machine and windows xp doesn't need that much amount of ram 
and 512 MB RAM is sufficient for Windows XP machine. However, if you are using any higher version of Windows like Windows 7 or Windows 8, you need to increase the size of RAM in that case. After this, asking for the hard drive and by default a radio button is selected create a virtual machine hardware now now click on create after clicking on create it is asking for the file location specify the location it could be anywhere on the desktop on the c drive d drive or e drive or f drive now let me select the location as a e drive click on save and click on create the moment I have clicked on create you can see I have got a new option on the left side panel as a Sulabs machine now I need to boot this machine from a operating system bootable disk so I'll right click on this machine there is an option settings click on settings the moment you have clicked on settings I have got some another options and let us click on here storage on the storage option you can see a disk is here and it is showing empty and a pop-up message has been displayed no medium selected and you can also change this while the machine is running so what I'll do here I'll select this file come to this disk option and choose a virtual CD DVD disk file click on this option let us select the image file or ISO file of your operating system Windows XP in this case and click on OK the moment you have clicked on OK you can have a look on the storage part it is having an option Windows XP CD is inserted in this machine select this machine and click on start now again click on OK the moment you have clicked on OK you can see a new platform has been started and I have got a new screen here displaying my message Windows setup I believe key option you have seen a lot of times you have asked a lot of times after completing this step option will come in setup is formatting the hard disk setup is copying the file system restart time zone administrator password और आपके पास एक सिस्टम बूट कर जाता है सेम स्टेप्स आपको आज भी परफॉर्म करने और आपके पास एक नई वर्चुअल मशीन क्रिएट हो जाएगी क्लोज दिस वर्चुअल मशीन देन विल मूव अहेड एंड लेट अस सी होता क्या है लेट मी क्लोज इट नाउ वी आर ऑलरेडी हैविंग अ वर्चुअल मशीन इन व्हिच आई हैव इंस्टॉल्ड विंडोज एक्स पी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम with the name of Kyron virtual machine now what I'll do I'll select the file and click on start the moment you have clicked on start again I have got the similar pop-up message as we were getting it earlier click on OK same screen Oracle product virtual box getting an option press any key to boot from CD now we do not want to boot from CD so I have not pressed any key right now and you can see here again click on OK go to the welcome screen and now I believe hopefully a new virtual machine will be started as you look on the screen I have got a new operating system in front of you that is nothing that is a fresh Windows XP operating system now there are lots of options as you look on the menu bar let's have a look very first option is machine similar options settings take snapshot take screenshot session information disable mouse integration insert alt control delete you can pause this machine you can reset it or you can shut down it come to view option showing you option switch to full screen mode the moment I'll click on this option switch to full screen mode 
किसी को पता भी नहीं चलेगा कि बिहाइंड द स्क्रीन विच ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वी आर यूजिंग हेयर लेट इस क्लिक ऑन दिस ऑप्शन स्विच टू फुल स्क्रीन मोड क्लिक ऑन स्विच एंड हेयर इट इज यू कैन सी हेयर आई हैव गॉट द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन द फुल स्क्रीन मोड एंड आई एम हैविंग एवरीथिंग एज अ न्यू ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ए फ्रेश सी ड्राइव अ फ्रेश डेस्कटॉप एवरीथिंग इज फ्रेश हेयर राइट Along with this, there are some other options as well. Let us see what are they. Now, another options are devices. In devices, there is an option CD DVD. You can insert any CD or DVD, USB device. If you want to plug in any pen drive, shared clipboard. You can share the clipboard process with the main machine, drag and drop. If you want to share some files. From host to guest or guest to host, network adapters. Even you can create your virtual network here. Shared folder. Enable remote display. There are lots of options that you can use in the virtual machine that are available in the virtual platform. And the best part is, आप वो सारे काम यहाँ पर कर सकते हो जो आपने real machine पर करते हो, वो सब कुछ यहाँ पर आपको allow करेगा. You can make any project. You can create any virtual network. you can use any activity on the virtual machine but the main benefit is to use behind the virtual machine is aisa bahut bar hamare sath hota hai ki hum kabhi bhi kuch naya kaam karte hain to naya kaam karte hue kai bar hamari machines corrupt ho jati hain but now what if i'm trying that new stuff on the virtual machine that will not corrupt my main operating system that will put all the bad effects only on the virtual machine that is the main advantage of the virtual machine so guys i'll suggest you always use virtual machine while practicing any new stuff and even in this training program at maximum places we would be using the virtual machines